So um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your makeup brushes and I have a few here that I want to clean, some face ones and some eye ones, um, a couple of synthetic ones and a couple of natural hair ones so you can kind of see it work on a bunch of different brushes. So um, I usually just do this in my sink. I have this little tin, oops, I have this little tin square container that has water in it. Let me just fill it up a little more. So it's just warm water in it. And then I'm going to take some of my Clean and Clear um, Foaming Facial Crems Cleanser. And I'm going to take about a pump and a half to two pumps of this. And I'm just going to kind of swirl it in the water so that... I make like a very soapy water and can add a little bit more and a lot of people find it very very weird that I wash my um, brushes with facial cleanser my theory is um, if you wash your face with it you should be able to wash what you put on your face with it right um, so that's kind of how I think of it so I just kind of go like that so I can have a really um, soapy water consistency and I'm gonna start with this brush which is a stippling brush which I usually use for foundation um, but I used it for blush so I need to clean it so I can use it for foundation again so all I'm gonna do is take the brush and try not to dip it too far in that's why I kind of like this container because it's like shallower so you don't get the whole brush in there just kind of um, the bristles of it in there so you're going to put it in there, kind of swirl it around, and then just kind of squeeze it out. We're getting the pink pigment out of the brush, if you can see there. So you just kind of keep swirling it in, squeezing it out. And what you could do if you want is have a little paper towel handy. And what you could do is swirl it in that water, squeeze it out, and then take it and kind of swirl it on the paper. And if you see right there, you're getting that pink off on the paper. So gently, just in circular motions, um, going back and forth between the water and the paper towel. And eventually, if you keep going, it takes a couple of tries, a couple of times dipping back and forth, and you will get the brush nice and clean and the tip of this brush should be white when we're done so okay so if you can see right there we have a nice white tip our brush is now clean and blush free it's just nice and clean um so what you're going to do is just kind of let it kind of soak in that soap until you're done with the rest of your brushes. So set it aside and pick another blush. A brush, this one also has blush and a little bit of bronzer on it, but this is a natural hair brush. So what I'm gonna do, flip my paper towel over, doesn't matter, you can use the same paper towel, and dip this in the same water. It doesn't get infected. <laughs> um, dip this just kind of in the same water. Now this brush is really, really hard to get the color out of it. Um, this is supposed to be a white brush and um, it, it kind of stains it. A lot of the blush that you use will stain it. Like if you use color with this blush, brush, gosh, if you use color with this um, brush it will kind of stain it. Um, so just because it's white, um, or I mean just because it's not white doesn't necessarily mean that it's not fully clean because it might just be stained. Like beauty blenders, they get like foundation stains all over them. That doesn't mean that they're not clean, it just means that they're stained. So this is kind of what happens with white brushes a lot, but I feel like this facial cleanser, you can even add some shampoo in there, um, which is what I do sometimes if I have like gentle shampoo. And it really does the job and even gets that stain out of even super white brushes. So if you can see right there, we pretty much got all of the pink out of the super white brush and nice and clean. So we can see before how it was colorful.
what you can do is add some baby shampoo to your soapy water and just kind of mix that in and that'll kind of also help it. And if they're really, really stubborn, then after you dip it into the cleanser, take it out, put some olive oil on a paper towel and rub it in. And the olive oil will really, really break down the um, pigment and definitely get everything out and it also kind of leaves the brushes really well. Um, so there's a few alternate ways to kind of do it depending. Like with this brush, I sometimes have to do the olive oil thing because like I'll use it with um, like a really heavily pigmented bronzer or something and it'll just stain the brush. So I, I just take a little bit of olive oil on a little paper towel like this and then just kind of swirl it on there, on there and it'll get all the pigment out of it. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And